Greetings, and welcome to episode 26. In today's episode, we'll be talking about standing your ground, also known as integrity, <laughs> or doing the right thing. <laughs> so if you're ready, let's get started. Now sit back, relax, and enjoy. So, standing your ground, or integrity, both in my point, from my point of view, both of those things entail doing the right thing for your particular path. That means if you know something is wrong for you, don't do it just because somebody tells you to do it, or because everybody else was doing it, like, you are human with common sense. You know that participating in social degradation, such as Black Friday, you know these are bad things. You're going in there with the intent to go in and knock somebody over if you have to to get something. And you don't think you would, but think about something snide comment you said to try to hurt someone's feelings or... Uh, snatching something out of somebody else's hand. Well, it was a good deal. There's no good deal that's worth that. There's none. None at all. And, anyone, and, and if you think that getting a good deal is more important than the next human life, yeah, you fail at life. And you're just taking up resources and space on this planet. That's a fact. We're going to rally against police brutality and all this this stuff. But be the first one to knock someone down for a TV or a game console or a camera or a phone. Knowing it's wrong to do that. And then you're going to look at me like, well, you wouldn't do that? <laughs> so you mean to tell me if the economy crashed and you need food, that's a completely different monster, ain't it? The economy hasn't crashed. There was a sale. <laughs> if the economy could crash and I had to feed my family, I would do what was necessary. But I would also bear in mind that everyone was in the same position I was. That is to say, they're in the position to go without and starve and possibly have their families go hungry if they have families. You're talking about a sale. You're justifying a sale by giving an end-of-the-world scenario. I know I don't usually smoke in my videos, but yeah, this, this, this particular subject has got me up <laughs> up in arms so to speak <laughs> I'm not gonna lie people don't like it when you stand your ground when you have made certain decisions for your life and you and you stand your ground because that is in fact the right thing to do let's say oh if you want success you get you've got to bend a little no that it's not called integrity. See, part of making it is making it on your own terms. That was the whole idea from the beginning. And when you bend, that's not integrity. It's just, it's not. And you'll never be able to justify it by your success. Not in my eyes. But then we have completely different views on what success is. 99.99999% of the population believes that your success is gauged by how fat your wallet is. And if that is your view of success, you've already lost. And I, I've already won. So there, I really don't even need to speak to you anymore. You can click stop and go on about your old man business. <laughs> You're never going to accomplish anything. I've already accomplished everything. 
my working life, the things I do for a living, are simply to pay for my existence on this planet. They do not make up, what I do for a living does not make up who I am. So I will never let what I do for a living dictate what I do in a particular day, other than showing up and following whatever orders when I'm on your time and you're paying me for my time. Beyond that, you don't get a say so in my life. If I'm on your dime, you get to tell me what to do until you're done paying me and then see ya. I got things to do. I've got my own life to live. I've never let any employer try to make personal decisions in my life. And they will try to make personal decisions in your life. Well, maybe you should think about, hey, maybe you should go fuck yourself. Because, let's face it, you don't get this. Okay, when I'm at your house, you can say, hey, let, let's try this. But when I'm at my house, you don't get an opinion. You don't. <laughs> you don't get an opinion. <laughs> you ever think about, hey, you're not paying me on my time you don't get to tell me what I'm supposed to be thinking about you don't get to try and direct the flow of my life well maybe you should think about completely rearranging the plans you've made for your future that have absolutely nothing to do with making money no thanks I can make money anywhere that is not the goal for my life it never has been and it never will be well then you ain't gonna, I'm not gonna what, find the right woman? The right woman for me ain't gonna be about money. Not gonna what? You ain't gonna have that big house on the hill, that big house on the hill that is nothing but a perpetual payment, a mort gauge, a death note. <laughs> That's what a mortgage means, mort, death, gauge, agreement. Mortgage. Mortgage. You signed a 30 year death agreement to maintain a perpetual honeydew list. Ain't nothing but work. <laughs> You're never done working on it. No, I don't want that. Do I want a small house somewhere? Nice little cute little unit? Yeah, sure, why not? Well, don't you want the big fancy cars for what? You got to keep up with the Joneses. Fuck Jones. I got my shit. You have nothing to hold over my head in that regard. <coughs> There's nothing on this planet I'd be willing to sell my soul for. So... Why am I going to move over a little bit because you suggested it? And it doesn't even have to be about money. You don't even have to be, uh, it doesn't even have to be about work. It could be about anything. Here comes the herd. Oh, you got to get you one of these. Why? Well, because everybody else has got one. Hmm, okay. That seems like the reason to go waste that kind of money. Or steal one. Or whatever it is you're suggesting to do. No thanks. People say, well, you got to pay your bills, but you just tried to talk me to buying $200 shoes. How's that paying my bills? Because everybody else has got them. Oh, so I should go into debt because everybody else has got it. <laughs> no, thank you. No, thank you. I just, yeah, I'm not, not feeling that. Not feeling any of it. Doing the right thing means doing the right thing for you. And we're not talking about morals. We're not talking about you did a good thing or you did a bad thing. We're talking about you know what your life path is. Doing the right thing concerning that path is what I'm talking about. And like I said, success is different for each individual human being. And don't let somebody else's vision of success cloud what your vision of success is. Stand your ground. Don't let someone walk up and say, well, that ain't success. Success is having this nice car and that big house and that big fat wallet. Hmm. For you, 
and I applaud you for reaching your success. But that doesn't mean success for me at all. Not even in the tiniest little bit. That's not success. That's the accumulation of material objects. And I know what it takes to get it. And you had to do a lot of ni nice things to get where you're at. And it's just not worth it for me to push that hard to step on that many people or anybody for any reason for material wealth just will never be a priority for me ever and if it ever becomes a priority for me I'm not sticking to my path I'm not holding my ground and there goes my integrity no matter what happens no matter what I do I have to stick to my path I have to stand my ground I have to do the right thing according to my journey not according to your journey you don't get to walk up to me and dictate what success is that is what success is for you we don't hold the same vision of success I've already accomplished everything I planned on accomplishing in one lifetime except I don't have my recreational pilots license yet I haven't published my book yet and I never got my PhD in anthropology but that is such as life and those are still only physical representations of things anyway and what I mean by that is a little piece of paper is never going to truly gauge how smart I am concerning a, a particular subject because you have people that study their whole lives in a particular field but because they don't have the credentials they're considered amateurs but could be better at it than some of the people you would consider professionals so it's still it's just a material thing uh, the only valid thing in that in that list I gave would be the pilot's license so yeah success I've achieved everything I wanted to achieve I've played live music for money I've been selling my artwork since high school I uh, what what is your measure of success oh I didn't get famous no I had a man walk up to me and tell me I was the best bass player he's ever heard how much more success do I need if what you're saying to me is I'm never going to be successful until I'm successful by your standard then I'm never going to be successful because I'm not trying to be successful by your standard I'm trying to be successful by my standard that's where sticking your to your standing your ground sticking to your guns integrity doing the right thing that's where that comes in handy <coughs> I'm not trying to reach your success. I'm trying to reach my success. And granted, bills cost money, but that's all I really need to pay for is bills. I need a place to live and food in the belly. Maybe a vehicle for transportation. And a gaming computer because I'm a gamer. But that's not the point. That's, I mean, in the grand scheme of things, that's not a whole lot of material possessions. I don't need a whole lot. the journey the adventure is on the inside I'm trying to get where I'm trying to get I'm not telling you don't go chase money I'm not telling you don't get that fancy car or the big house if that's what you need to feel successful go for it but you don't get to come and tell me that I'm not successful because I don't want what you want because I'm going to stand my ground and there's not anything you can offer me not money not position nothing that you can offer me to make me change my path it would be like I'm making my video my daily video I should be sleeping because I work nights 
and my boss calls and says, shouldn't you be sleeping? You know, you should just wait and make those videos on your day off. <laughs> Excuse me? You don't get to tell me what I'm going to be doing on my time off. On my time. You don't get to tell me that. Because you are just a temporary part of my path. My journey to date. You've been in my life for three days now. And you're going to try and tell me how to live my life? I've been here for 40 years. And I'll be here long after you're gone. And you've taken up three days of my life. And you suddenly get to make personal decisions in my life? I don't think so. Sorry, I'm very upset at the way certain people handle themselves concerning other people's lives. Well, I, I just don't understand. No, you don't understand. Just like I can't fathom why chase money. Why material possession. I can't fathom that. I can see getting something you genuinely want because you're going to need it or use it. Like I need a gaming computer. That's going to be pretty expensive. Upwards of $2,000 unless I build one myself. And I, I'm not that savvy that I could build my own computer. And I certainly wouldn't trust someone else to build it. So, I'm left with buying a pre -made. But I'm going to use it. I'm not buying it because it's, oh, it's the top of the line. Everyone's getting one. No, it's because of it fits the need and functionality of a product I need so I can do what I want to do. Which is play video games. Notice I didn't tell you what type of computer. There's a reason for that. Because I don't need you chasing what I want just because I want it. I want you chasing what you want. Now, if we happen to like the same thing, good on you. But, whatever. <laughs> I just, I can't fathom chasing things solely because other people show it, see it as a sign of success. I can't fathom chasing things because it makes me feel or look good outwardly. Not inwardly, but the ego is, is satiated, but not the heart. And then all the struggle you got to do to keep all that fancy stuff. It's just, no, it doesn't fly with me. Most every job I've ever had, if you wanted to be super duper successful at it, you had to either bend the rules or step on everybody in your way push 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 that's not success to me at all it's not called the human race because we're actually running towards something <laughs> I mean I don't know how many people have actually figured that out but my measure of success And let's, let's go back a minute and talk about when I said I couldn't fathom going after these things. And these people can't fathom me not chasing these things. It doesn't register to them. It's an alien concept that there are more important things than material possessions. That somebody's opinion of me based on the things I own is the least important opinion that could ever be given. See, that's not even outward expression of the self. That is outward expression of success. And that success might not really be who you are. 
but you decided that everybody else was right that success is these shiny baubles. Shiny baubles don't cut it. They never have and they never will. Success is measured here and here. You know what I find a successful man? A man with sufficient intellect to carry on a decent conversation. Maybe a decent sense of humor. That's successful to me. Someone whose confidence lies in what he knows rather than what he has. Because if you have to have your confidence dialed in by everybody else, well, so-and-so can vouch for me. I, no one needs to vouch for me. My, six, my, my confidence isn't based on what other people think of me. Well, these ten people think I'm the whip shit. Well, good for them ten people. I don't agree with you, so obviously I don't agree with them either. <laughs> <laughs> what? You tell me something significant about you that you don't need anybody else to say so for it to be true. Because a hundred people say it don't make it true. Just like those same hundred people disbelieving doesn't make it untrue. Stand your ground. Have integrity. Do the right thing. Nobody suffers but you in the long run. Nobody. Well, we want to get to know you, see who you are. You don't need to know me and see who I am. I'm not trying to make friends. No, I'm trying to get along, to be sure. No one wants animosity in a close environment. But I am 100% not trying to make friends. I'm not trying to have my path altered. Well, maybe you should do this. Because then i got to go do this. Because if I don't, you'll get hurt feelings. And what do you think? You're better than me? And that's I get that a lot. What do you think? You're better than me? You don't watch TV? You're better than me? If you say so. You said it, I didn't. You don't chase money and material wealth. What, do you think you're better than me? You said it, I didn't. I didn't say anything. And yeah, it's not... It's not cool. It really isn't. Gauging somebody else's success off your own. Or even gauging your success off somebody else's. I don't have fancy things. I'm not successful. <laughs> I don't even know where that comes from. You find out what's right for you on your journey. Find out what you want. You may find you don't want fancy baubles, fancy cars, fancy houses. I want a champagne bath. Why? It's a waste of champagne. Drink it. <laughs> you don't even got to get the expensive stuff. <laughs> <laughs> you're poor bear with you know deal with it why don't you go get you some Sprite and have a Sprite bath <laughs> learn, learn to live within your means <laughs> I don't know I noticed that uh, we're all prone to doing things according to the opinion of others we won't stand our ground because we're afraid of hurting somebody else's delicate sensibilities. And so we'll deviate. And then we'll spend the whole time kicking ourselves. And then when it's all said and done, and these people either stab you in the back or turn their back on you, or you find a reason to turn your back on them, you wasted all that time doing what they wanted when you could have been focused on what you were doing 
and get at that, getting that accomplished. That was your success, but you let someone talk you into this being your success. And I'm sorry, your success is a hundred times more important as you are concerned than anything anybody else could ever tell you. If you know what is right for you, stand your ground, have integrity, do the right thing. Two, I mean, I can count the times I let somebody deviate my path according to what they wanted because I wanted to be liked and I wanted this and I wanted that. I wanted to fit in. Well, there's a meme out there and I'm going to insert my own name into it. Everyone wanted to fit in and be liked except Chris. Chris just didn't give a fuck. <laughs> And I don't. I'm on my path. If I haven't specifically invited you to join me on my path, then you need to tend to your own and not worry about mine. Because my level, I've reached my success. That's probably why you seem, wow, why is he so confident? <laughs> Someone's car alarm going off and I'm thinking, wow, great timing. Thanks. <laughs> Screwing with my success over here. <laughs> and see, for me, like I don't monetize these videos, and for everyone else on YouTube, success means I'm getting a million views and I'm making X amount of money and I don't have to work anymore and blah, blah, blah. And I got a view. Holy shit, it's working! I'm successful! <laughs> I've reached my success. I'm not famous. Famous is not success. Success is doing what you love. Getting paid for that success, that's just a bonus. It's a bonus. Would I like the bonus? Hells yes. But... That's not what I'm after. That's why I haven't monetized these videos. And the minute I monetize these videos, I lose my intro song. So I'm not all in a big hurry to monetize my videos anyway. Because I like my intro song. Ah. Uh, <laughs> but yeah. Success. <coughs> Excuse me. To me isn't what success is to them. I'm not going to pay to promote, to, uh, to promote my videos. I'm not going to. And yes, I know that in, if I don't pay to promote my videos, you could type in my channel name to the search and my channel may still not come up. I know this and I still am not willing to pay for it. Because the success to me is somebody viewed it. Somebody viewed the video other than me. Woohoo! Success. <laughs> Touchdown. Home run. Slam dunk. Whatever you want to call it. That to me is success. I am one person. I only have to reach one other person other than myself. And if it's at all helpful, that's doubly successful. Because not only am I doing something I love doing, which is making the videos, but I helped someone somewhere along the line that's success within success it's not about making money for me or I would have found a way to monetize day one boom <laughs> no kidding and I might eventually pay to promote my videos but I can guarantee you if that's the case I'm in the position I'm in preparation to monetize the videos but that'll be a decision that's made down the road I would like to see how far I can get without spending one thin dime on this and if you're telling me it can't be done that's fine 
I've already reached my success within this sphere. I'm doing something I love to do. And I reached at least one person doing it. At least. I'm only one man. I'm only required to help one other person. If I help more than one person, success. That's like compounded success. It's like a times ten for each person I help. In my opinion, to me. That's how it's going to make me feel. To find out that, oh wow, you've, you've you helped me in so many ways and blah, 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 blah. If somebody says that to me, or more than one person, it's like one person, yay! Another person times ten. Another person times ten. Another person times ten. That's how it's going to make me feel. That I'm actually being helpful doing this. And it might get to a point that it doesn't matter if I'm getting a million views. I still may not monetize. Because this information is free. And if I can find other means of making money, I'm going to do that. Now, don't get me wrong, monetizing these videos, if I'm getting su sufficient views, that could be what I do for a living. I might, I could never work again. But that's, it would be not the point. The point would be the videos. The making money would still just be a side note. And I would be put in the precarious position to gear my content toward more of what the people want to see. Because people, even in the spiritual circles, have a little sense of entitlement. And if you ever go to some of these other spiritual teachers, you'll read the comments and people will have an opinion on the, on the show and the content as though they're part of the creative process in that and they're not. You have no vested interest in the show other than you're watching it. But because you know they monetize their videos to supplement their whatever income they have, you think you have a right because you help them with a view. A view. You're not actually paying the advertising dollars. You're just watching the video. And see, I would seek to sidestep that because that would put me in the position to if someone said well you know what I would do <laughs> oh man you just unleash the hounds because I'm going off <laughs> I will stick to my guns I will stand my ground I will have integrity and I will do the right thing even if it means I lose you as a friend, as a uh, subscriber, uh, what, what have you. If my journey is unpalatable to you, if you don't like me speaking from personal experience, uh, perhaps move along. There are other spiritual teachers. There are other people that give guidance. I'm speaking from personal experience. My personal experience may not be what you want to hear about. I apologize. But that's what I have to offer. I'm not trying to regurgitate everything that everybody else is saying. I'm trying to speak specifically from my point of view. I've helped a lot of people over the years. But you have to understand that that help doesn't always come in the form of spiritual guidance. I'm also an artist. Some people needed art, uh, 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 advice on art. I gave someone a pep talk about a competition they were going to enter. And they turned it around and they didn't think they were going to win. And I gave them their pep talk and everybody didn't think they could do it, could, that, that she could do it. And, and, and even her parents were like, you know, don't be upset if you don't win anything. Like just naysaying. And I had turned that around and I told her, I said, do your best. Your best may not be as good as somebody else's best, but do your best. And nobody can fault you for that. And there was more to the pep talk, but that was the gist of it. And this girl, it was a punt, pass, and kick competition. She's a little tomboy. She used to play football on for the school team. And uh, she won three first place trophies. <laughs> because of a pep talk. It had nothing to do with spirituality. So I've, 
I can say that I have helped people, and helping people doesn't always mean it's going to be about the path. And I mean, if you have a question about anything you need help with, put it down in the comments or leave a video response. Click the like button, though. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, we're getting on to the 30 minute mark, I think, because I've had to chop this video up from various noises and interruptions. <laughs> anyway, yeah, I, I hope you've enjoyed this video. And uh, if you have, go ahead and click the like button. Then you can favorite the video if you want. But uh, if you would like to keep coming back and getting some pretty good information, or you just like the sound of my voice, Click the subscribe button. But until next time, you hang in there.